Hi there, Yogi, and welcome to Gentle Yoga. Today, we are going to move through some back strengthening, some heart opening, and a whole lot of love for the body. So when you're ready for today, you're going to want at least one block, maybe two, and definitely a strap. I always like to have a blanket and a bolster available just in case, and of course, a water bottle to continue to hydrate the body as we open up and move. When you're ready, I will meet you on your mat in a cross-legged position. Now, Yogi, if you'd like, you can bring a blanket underneath your hips and slowly just prop up your seat a bit so that you can sit comfortably on your mat. And we'll begin with eyes closed. And just taking a moment to really land in the body, to land in this practice, to land in your seat, both sits bones on the earth, really allowing the whole pelvis to drop into the earth. Yeah, and letting the crown of the head reach up and letting the shoulders lift up and then draw down the back. You can slowly draw chin a bit down towards chest and then just take a moment to become aware and present to the quality and the depth and the uh, spaciousness of your breath. You know, so much of the beginning of our practice is about just noticing and coming back into this sensing and feeling uh, awareness that we cultivate on the mat. And so by honoring this practice with the awareness of and the qualities of your breath, we can begin to just fall a little deeper into practice. With kindness, with compassion. With this, you know, true gift, which is being able to show up and be present for yourself on the mat. And from here, we'll start to add some sun breath. So maybe stretching both hands out along your sides, maybe flipping palms up, inhaling, maybe reaching hands up to the sky on your inhale, exhale, drawing hands down to the earth. Let's do four more just like that. Breathing in as we lift up. Breathing out as you draw back down. Perfect, three more. On your next inhale, reach hands up high. Exhale, let's twist over to the right. Gently bringing left hand onto right knee, pressing through your sit bones and lifting up through the crown of your head. Next inhale, sweep hands up to the sky and then slowly twist over to the other side. Breathe. Remember to land, land on your mat. Allow the breath to fall into your belly. And inhale, let's come back to center. Sweep hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center, hands on the knees. Let's do some cat and cows. Inhale, lifting your heart forward. 
Exhale, rounding, rounding back, dropping chin to chest. As you come forward, inhale, lifting up to the chin. Exhale, round and empty. Take your time. We're not in a rush. Sometimes when we allow ourselves to have all the time we need, it's just kind of amazing. What can occur in the body and the mind? In your spirit, your energy, we allow. And so if you'd like to continue with this movement, you can. And if you'd like, you can begin to make some circles. Oh, it's all the... um, the movements like this, where we get into the joint, we do the six movements of the spine, you might start to hear pops and crackles in switch directions at any time. And if you hear those pops and crackles, uh, just know that's, um, it's all part of it. It's called crepitus. That's a vocabulary word for your morning. And crepitus is the suck stuff. It's, um, It's, you know, like the stuff that as we break it up and we get it moving again, there's just more fluidity to the body. And so if we hear that, we can just know. Look at all the nourishing you're giving to your body. Coming back to center, suck hands on heart. Take a moment to land here and set an intention. In this practice today, we're going to open the heart. So maybe consider offering yourself an intention of expanding the heart space. And together we'll open with a letting go breath. Big inhale. Exhale. Ah. Let's do that twice more. Inhale. Nice big sigh out. Ah. One more. Exhale. Ah. Perfect. I'm going to come into i start a little differently today. You can send your legs long. Slight bend in your knees. Walk your hands back. You can use a block for this if you'd like. We're going to come onto the elbows. And we're going to start in a fish pose. And we'll come back here later in practice. And we'll just notice, notice the difference. So pressing elbows into the ground. A lift in your heart. Lift up in the chin. And just notice here, you might feel a little tension in the neck. We'll take care of that. You want your head to be lifted. Don't drop it down. Keep it nice and nice and long. Open up through the heart. Lift the heart up to the sky. Three breaths. And then slowly, you can bring your elbows out wide. Ah, rest on the mat. Draw knees into chest. Give them a squeeze. And rock and rock and roll side to side. Keeping your knees together, your shins together, your ankles together, lifting your knees up. So they're right over your hips. Let's land here. 
I'll take your arms out nice and wide. And we're gonna make some circles. So you can make these circles small at your knees lead. And you should feel this in your belly. So we're just building a little core strength, a little passive core strength here. Making those circles. And you can make them a little bit bigger if you want. You can even almost like rock side to side. Arms are long, shoulder blades are pressed into the earth. Just start to move your body. Switch directions at any time. And take your time making the circles and just feel the strength, connection. All these parts and pieces are connected together. And you offer them some love and support. Let's do one more breath here. Ah, hug the knees back into the chest. Oh, give them a squeeze. Bringing your feet onto the earth, let's just take a moment to land here and um, offer the spine a bit of release. Feet can come nice and wide, hands on your hips. And we're gonna come into pranayama here. I like opening up the body a bit before we begin to breathe. And so from here, you can have your hands on your low belly. You can have one hand on your heart if you'd like. I'm gonna come into dirga or three-part breath. A right, big inhale into the heart. Allowing the heart to expand as you breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Breathing into the ribs now. Inhale to expand through the rib cage. And let it go. Inhale into the low belly. And let it go. And then we'll connect those breathing parts together, inhaling first into the heart, bringing the breath into the ribs, bringing the breath into the belly. Exhale from the belly, exhale the ribs, exhale heart. Do three more just like that. Inhale heart. Inhale ribs. Inhale belly. Exhale belly. Exhale ribs. Exhale heart. Two more. Letting it go and breathe. And now just notice, bring your body back to a less controlled breath. And noticing your body and the sensations within your body. From here, we're going to bend knees and just roll them over to a side and roll right onto the belly. I'm going to do a little work in the heart and the low back. Building off of this feeling of connectedness, this awareness of the ribs and the heart. Starting in your sphinx pose, elbows on the earth, hands are nice and wide. Drop your hips down, open through your heart. Lift up through your chin and just allow yourself to land here. I'm breathing in and out. Allowing the body to 
Begin to move and orient towards the shape. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Bending knees, windshield wiper legs side to side. And come back to center. And this time, let's press palms into the earth, lifting up low cobra. Hips are pressing into the ground, toes are nice and long, so open in the heart. Imagining the heart being pulled forward as if it's on a string. Pressing hips into the ground, really um, anchoring through the tops of the feet. Two more breaths. And then slowly release. Bending knees, windshield wiper legs side to side. Pressing up through a tabletop. Let's find child's pose. Knees come wide, toes to touch. Nice and long in the body. Land here. And rest. One more breath in. And let it go. Come on up through tabletop. Landing here this time, bringing all fours onto the earth, hands, knees, shins. You can tuck toes if you'd like or uh, keep your feet long. Draw belly into spine. And for this tabletop, again, you can really make it your own. Let it be yours. I'm gonna start with the arms today. So pressing left arm into the earth, I'm gonna reach right arm forward. You can start with the legs if you'd like. You're finding the press into the ground and then using the strength of the belly, the strength of the remaining three limbs pressing into the ground to extend an arm or a leg. And just notice the sensation for three breaths. Next exhale, bring your limb to the earth and come to the other side. Pressing down and expanding long, open. Noticing your shoulders and the length in the back of your neck. The last breath in and let it go. So now you can choose another limb or you can come back to um, what you started with and extend the right leg long. And you can choose here what you'd like to do. And again, all three limbs pressing into the earth, strong in the belly. Pressing down, find length, length, length. And then slowly release. Extending the last limb. Nice and long. Anchor into the earth. Find length, find space. Find the strength, use that belly, that core. Press into the ground, get a little stronger. And then come back to center. Inhale through a cow pose. Exhale to your cat. Let's walk palms forward, roll over toes, and we'll find downward dog. And stretching hips up to the sky, reaching hips up high, pressing palms into the ground, finding length and space as you land. Maybe bending knees, maybe sending hips up to the sky. And 
Notice your stance. All ten fingers, all ten toes. And breathe. Next inhale, let's bend knees, look forward, tiny steps. Take your time. You can walk your feet out a little wider to get there. Pressing feet into the ground, inhale, hands onto knees, nice long spine. Exhale, fold, let it go. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Ah, let's do that again, inhale. Exhale, ah, press to your feet, rise, reach up high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, arms reach. Let's bring left hand onto right wrist. Stretch over to the side. Anchoring into the ground, get a little longer. Last breath in, press down, lift, reach, 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 reach. Yeah, come back to center, switch sides. Anchor into the ground, reach up, reach over. We're expanding through the ribs, opening up through the heart, allowing the body to be, to breathe to be spacious. Last breath in, maybe grow a little longer. Ooh, and come back to center. Both hands reach, hands to heart center. I'm gonna bring feet, um, they can be at hips with distance, they can be together if you have a block. Let's bring that into the mix. I'm gonna do a little bit of standing work. Uh, we're gonna bring the block, if you have it, in between your thighs. I'm gonna work on our chair pose today. So I'm gonna start facing you and then I'll turn so you can kind of see both directions. So squeezing the thighs into the block, really allowing right, this press, this squeeze inward. So strong here, you should, if you can, you should be able to light up your core here and just get nice and strong and then begin to shift a little forward and back. Nice and long in the spine, shoulder blades draw together. And then if you can start to bend into the knees, I like to shift my weight a little forward and back and really find um, this really slow, slow progression down into the chair pose. Hands can be together. Um, sometimes I find it easier to, to bring hands onto the heart. So I'm going to turn so you can see uh, the bend in my knees. And then if you'd like, start to send, send your seat back only to the level that is um, feeling good in your body. We're going to keep breathing here. Squeezing into the block. And noticing your knees, keep drawing them back, drawing that seat back, right? We don't want to sit forward, we want to sit back. So strong in the belly, so strong in the heart. Let's take three more breaths. And then slowly come up to standing. You can remove the block. Ha, and we're gonna play with the block a little bit. So again, if you have it, um, you can bring it in between your hands now. And then take a nice wide stance. And then slowly stretching the block forward, squeezing the block with both hands, maybe start to lift it up. Whoo, use your core to stabilize. 
lifting up a little higher and bring it to the degree that it feels good for you. If you notice that you're losing the squeeze, you can let it go, maybe reaching it up over your head. I like to do the standing, but slight bend in the knees. Make sure your knees are slightly bent. Keep pressing. Three breaths. And then slowly release. We're gonna bring the block back to your chair pose. I promise we'll get lots of nice and gentle squishiness after this, okay? Bear with me. Let's find that press of the block into the thighs, thighs into the block. Start to bend your knees. I like to shift a little forward and back and really just like feel out my feet on the earth. So that as I think down, as I think down, right, I'm using all the awareness, right, pressing into the heels, squeezing the block together. It's okay if you don't have all of these. That's what comes with practice. So we just keep doing this and eventually you start to feel it a little bit more. Draw your belly into your spine nice and strong here, nice and long in your low back. And then you can have your hands together or you can keep your elbows out wide. We're working on balance here. So um, you can always come back to this and try it again on your own to just come back into really building up balance and support in the body with your elbows nice and wide. We're gonna turn over to the right. So just the upper body, the knees, the hips stay exactly where they are and we're twisting, twisting, twisting to one side. So good for the core. It's a nice full body shape here. Three breaths, you got it. Each inhale, you can get a little longer in the spine. Each exhale, twist a little bit more. Breathing in. Use that breath. Keep squeezing the block. Last breath in. Exhale, twist, 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 twist. Inhale back to center. Reach your hands up. Exhale, you can bring hands to heart center. Let's take a breath. Breathing in. And letting it go. We have one more side. Squeezing into the block, take your time, bend those knees, slowly draw yourself down. Finding the shape, really taking the time. Again, flattening that lower back. So draw belly in the spine. This is so important. Elbows come nice and wide. Maybe you stay here. If you're feeling adventurous, if you're ready to give it a try, you can just twist your heart towards the other side and towards the left and we're breathing you got it i'm twisting a bit more so good for the core breathe twist each inhale spine gets a little longer so you're thinking back of the neck is a little longer crown of the head is a little longer breathing in twisting 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 two more breaths we're nearly there. Last breath in. Just a little bit more. Inhale back to center. Oh, and you can grab that block. I'll drop it over to the side. Inhale, sweep hands up to the sky. Exhale so through heart center. Hands on hips. With your right foot forward, left foot can take a half step back. We're coming into warrior one nice and wide in the feet. Bring them almost out to the edges of the mat. Nice wide supportive stance. Back heel is pressed into the ground. Press it down. Notice your hips. So strong here. Pull belly in the spine. And then if you'd like, draw one arm up to the sky. Maybe both. And land here and breathe. One more breath in. Exhale it out, hands on hips, step forward. With left foot forward, right foot is going to step back. We'll come right into the other side, press down. Notice your hips, 
nice even like headlights anchor into the ground. Maybe one hand comes up, maybe both. We land here. We press down, we lift up. Breathe. Again, pressing into that back heel, growing a little longer, a little taller. Last breath in, let it go. So now we're gonna grab the block. And we're gonna try, try this thing that we did with the hands and we're going to do it in our warrior one. So starting with the right foot forward, left foot takes that half step back. We're so strong in the feet, pressing into that back heel. Hands on the block, nice palms on the short side of the block, stretch out in front of you. And I want you to notice here, I might find that this uh, allows you to wake up the core, become aware of the strength of your belly, drawing it into your spine. And then if you can, and if you'd like, you can try Attempt to start to lift the block up. Keep pressing, keep squeezing it. <sighs> Lifting it up, maybe bringing it overhead. Three breaths here. Wherever you are, you're doing great. This is the work, right? This is the bringing our practice into greater awareness. Last breath in. And slowly release. And come to the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Again, nice wide stance. So supportive. Anchoring into the ground. Long arms. Press into the block. Really fire up. Use the arm muscles. Use the shoulders. Fire up the belly. And when you're ready, lift slowly take your time only bring it to the degree that feels best for you that could be here right you have nothing but time right we get to do this maybe once maybe this is a practice that you've done before but if it's new just allow it to be new let's breathe Last breath in, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. And then slowly release, ah, good news. Now you can drop that block, that, that block down and inhale, we'll sweep hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold, 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 fold down to the earth. Inhale to your halfway lift. And this time we're gonna take tiny steps, walking right back to your downward dog, take your time. Pressing hands into the ground, feet into the ground. Get long in those arm bones and breathe. You can always drop back into your child's pose if you prefer, or a tabletop. Three more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, drop knees. Let's take knees wide, bring toes to touch and come into child's pose. Dropping head down to the earth. And letting those arms rest. Big breath in, let it out. <sighs> when you're ready, find our way back to tabletop shape, pressing palms into the earth, knees into the earth. And this time in our tabletop, we're gonna use two limbs to balance. So you can start, 
However you'd like. I'm going to start with right leg back. Ball of foot into the ground, heels drawing back. And again, wake up the core, doing a lot of um, passive and active core work today. Really fire up those stability muscles and use the strength of your body, drawing your heel back. So strong here. Again, you can stay here if you'd like. If you'd like, you can float right leg off the earth. If you'd like, you can balance that table with left arm. And we're breathing here. Keep pressing down into the right hand. So strong in your fingertips. So strong in the whole palm. Right? Use every little muscle you've got. And then keep extending, right? Keep lengthening through the fingertips, through the heel. Last two breaths. And then exhale, hand and knee to the earth. Inhale to your cow pose. Oh, exhale to your cat. Let it all go. Maybe wag your tail. Let's come to the other side. Left leg is long. Pressing into the ground, staying here for as long as you'd like, lingering in this shape, knowing that there's still so much we can do here, right? Paying attention to the hips, the belly, right? Starting to maybe lift the, the toes, coming up onto the big toe. And then if you'd like, balancing the table, maybe lifting the leg as we breathe here. <sighs> breathe through it. Last breath in, exhale, release, hand and knee to the earth, inhale to your cow pose, uh, exhale to your cat. So now we're gonna come forward, walking palms forward. You can uh, come into a low, low plank and then slowly lower down, hard on the earth. And then come back into that sphinx pose, forearms on the earth, Elbows pressing, notice the difference here. And all our parts and pieces are connected together. And sometimes what it takes is waking up the muscles to begin to feel this really delightful ease. And you can just land here and open your heart. Let's breathe. Two more breaths. Drawing shoulders down the back, lifting up through the chin. And then slowly release to the earth. Take your time, bend knees, windshield wiper legs. And let it go. And come back to center. Putting toes nice and long, pressing hips into the ground, hands alongside the heart, start to press into the hips, lift up through the heart space, low cobra, draw the elbows back. This is all about building back strength, opening the heart, breathing into your collarbone, allowing the heart to open, to expand. The heart is infinite is unending, right? The power, the strength of your heart. We call it open in this shape. Keep using the breath, keep cultivating the breath. Last inhale, exhale to release, bend knees, windshield wiper legs. So now we're gonna build on this shape. A lot of back strength, a lot of hearts opening today. 
Coming into your shape now, bringing forehead onto the earth. That means tucking your chin down towards your, your neck, drawing your arms long alongside your hips. Locust pose. Point your toes long. I like to lift up my thighs and actually let's start there. So forehead is on the earth. Back of the neck is nice and long. Hips are pressing in the ground. And then with the press of the palms, anchoring, anchoring down. Press the top of the left foot into the ground. So a lot of pressing, a lot of awareness. And we just do our best here. And then if you can, and if you'd like, you can start to lift up. And almost like the right toes are on a string. And they're being drawn long and being lifted up. So allow the leg to lift. Again, pressing the hips into the mat as best you can. And so really allowing this to concentrate to light up the back body, the stability muscles, the um, glutes, the low back. Holding here, breathing in. And letting it out. Two more breaths. And then slowly release. Whew. Same thing, other side. Now right toes press into the mat. Top of the right foot pressing into the mat. Left toes are long, as if they're being drawn on an invisible string. And then slowly that left leg lifts. And it's okay if you just barely notice. If it just barely lifts off the ground, that's okay. This is how we begin to, this is how we begin. And we all begin somewhere. And what we want here is to cultivate and to strengthen, to become aware of, and to breathe into it, to offer the breath to the body, to the being, to your essence, and then slowly release. And now this time, if you'd like, you can begin to squeeze both legs together. And if you'd like, you can actually use the block here as well. And I'll demonstrate with the block. Bring it right in between your thighs. And just like we did in our chair pose, ooh, if you can get it there, just like we did in our chair pose, you can squeeze the thighs together. Squeeze the thighs together. Forehead is on the earth, hands are planted on the earth. Squeeze the thighs together. And then maybe lift the legs off the ground. This is going to be a slight lift because we're using the squeeze in and the block. And that's okay. Lifting up, noticing, pressing hips into the ground. I'm just noticing. And then slowly release. And so you can stay with the block if you'd like. Or you can just, now that you have the idea, the sensation, the feeling of it, you can come back again. Uh, this time, if you'd like, you can bring forearms and stack them um, right above your forehead, resting it all on the ground and then slowly lifting up, squeezing together and lifting up both legs. And if you want, you can add the arms here, maybe bringing the arms, lifting them up behind you, almost like you're gliding through space. And then last, if you'd like, and this is the final version of this shape. So you can give it your all. Maybe you lift up your heart and your chin, keeping your neck long and breathing here as if you are gliding through space. Last two breaths. And then slowly release. And bend knees, windshield wiper legs. And I promise that after this, we would be nice and squishy, and this is where we're headed now. So now that we've done all this work on the back and the legs, let's press up to tabletop and do a little bit of work to open the heart. We're gonna come into uh, thread the needle, pressing left hand into the earth, reaching right hand up. Exhale, thread it through. Right shoulder onto the earth, head rest onto the earth, body rest onto the earth. And we rest, and we release, and we give in and give over to the softness, to the release.
And if you'd like, you can thread the left arm behind the back. Maybe only if that feels nourishing for you. Resting as much as you can, separating the teeth. And when you're ready, pressing into left palm, taking your time to slowly lift the arm up, shining heart up towards the sky. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Left arm reaches. We expand, we open, and then thread the needle and release. And let it all go. Separating teeth, allowing the body to fully fall into the earth. Allowing yourself to nourish and restore and receive as you land. If you let go. As you are. And if you'd like, you can add a letting go breath, inhaling and sighing it out. Ah. Getting adding the arm if you'd like, only if that feels supportive and nourishing for your body. Last two breaths. I'm slowly coming up to your tabletop. Right arm presses, left arm reaches. You shine the heart up to the sky. Exhale to hands and knees. Let's come through a seat. And we'll find our way on to our backs. Have your strap handy as you land here. And we'll start by bringing right knee into the chest. You can have left foot on the earth. You can send left leg long if you'd like. And we pause here and land here. And just allow the whole back to rest on the ground. If we were in person, I would be coming by to... Uh, draw your shoulders a little closer to the ground. And maybe lift up your head and drop it back down to help you find openness in the collarbone and a deep and delightful place on the earth. Allow the breath to slowly fill the low belly or the ribs or the heart. Allowing the deep softness of the breath to nourish and restore you. If you'd like from here, you can bring right knee across the body over to the left in a supine twist. If this is feeling like too much for your body, we have two other options. One option is to bring the block, our favorite prop today, your favorite block into in between the knees and draw both knees over to the side. 
stretching right arm out to the left. And then the other option is to do the same without the block. It's really up to you. You could also use a blanket in between the knees. Or even a bolster. And allow yourself to rest. Still letting go breath here. Ah. And just nourish and rest. Revel in this feeling. You can stay here as long as you'd like. When you're ready, you can slowly come back to center. Remove the block. Maybe you take the feet wide and just windshield wiper the knees left and right to their degree of comfort. And then when you're ready, you're gonna continue on the right side, grabbing the strap and sending the right foot, the ball of the foot, right? So the, foot, the ball of the foot right underneath the toes, pressing that into the strap sending the strap up to the sky, crawling your hands up high enough that you can wrap the strap around your right palm and then let your right arm be heavy. Your right foot is engaged as if it's standing on the ceiling. And then as you are ready and only if it feels uh, nice and nourishing for you, you can extend the left leg long. And so here we are in this shape. allowing the body to rest on the earth and the leg to lift and the toes to spread. Maybe if it's feeling nourishing for you, you can start to draw the toes just slightly up towards the top of your head and notice if that gives you a little bit more awareness of the back of the leg, of the whole leg. If your body is talking to you and the sensation feels a little too intense, you can always draw yourself back or release the strap, bend the knee and come back to the earth. And we'll be here for just three more breaths. And three long, slow, deep breaths. Letting the belly breathe. And then from here, if you'd like, bringing the strap now around the left palm, right arm can stretch out to the right. You take your time and maybe slowly start to draw the right leg towards the left side, just an inch, maybe two, until you feel sensation on the outside of the right hip. Keep both hips on the mat. Just a slight awareness of sensation on the outside of the leg. And we breathe here. And when you're ready, Going up through center, switching that strap one more time, back into the right palm, wrapping it around the right palm. Again, foot is still pressing into the strap. And if you'd like, you can start to bring the right leg over towards the left, maybe just an inch or two, maybe a little bit more. And keep relying on the foot pressing into the strap and the strength of the arm as it draws the strap back down towards your body. And it's through that strength 
through that support, through the uh, encouragement and the awareness that you can begin to allow your body to open to the degree that is acceptable to you in this moment. There is no race or comparison. There is just what is for you today. Allowing whatever is for you today to arrive. And so you come up to the center, grabbing your foot, your knee, releasing the strap, hugging, squeezing right knee into chest. That was a nice, long, luxurious sequence on the right side. Let's send the right leg long and just notice the difference right to left. And now we'll bring left knee into chest and again, give it a squeeze drawing the knee in towards the body and allowing this rest and release to occur. If you can, continuing the belly into the, or in, continuing the breath into the low belly and allowing your body to breathe. And if you'd like from here, and you can draw the right knee across the body over to the left, maybe as we did before, bringing the block in between the knees, stacking the knees as they draw over. And I notice I have my hand on the back of my pelvis and I do that just to make sure that my hips are even. So that as I extend and open, and the body is supported and accessible and available to expand. Luxuriating here as long as you'd like. If you're ready, you can slowly draw knee back to center. Give it a squeeze. And if you'd like, you can grab your strap, and wrap it around the ball of your foot, send left foot up to the sky, crawl the hands up the strap, and wrap the strap around the left palm, letting the left arm be heavy. Right arm comes out to the right. And here we are, allowing the back of the left leg to open giving it the space and the support that it needs to expand. And offering it all to the body. And again, if you'd like, maybe drawing the toes up towards the top of the head to uh, increase the sensation in the back of the left leg. Only to the degree that feels right for you. Knowing that there is always tomorrow. And tomorrow you can offer this feeling and sensation to the body once again. Maybe bringing the strap into the right hand now. Maybe drawing the leg just an inch or two across the body over to the right side. Just enough to wake up this outside of the hip and the thigh and allowing the leg and the body to expand, keeping both hips planted on the earth. So letting this be about the muscles and the engagement in that part of the body, allowing the body to be in the shape. And as you are ready, coming up through center, switching hands, with the strap and then drawing maybe an inch or two left leg over to the left, maybe a little further. I'm only doing it to the degree that feels right for you, only to the degree that is spacious and possible for your body. And all things in gentle 
want to do is find the support to the degree that honors where you are today. Knowing that especially in our gentle practice, I can always come back and add more and continue to build as we expand the practice. Coming back to center whenever you'd like, releasing the strap, squeezing the knee, and then sending left leg long. And now, dear yogi, make our way into our final resting pose. And maybe that looks like grabbing a blanket and wrapping it over your body. Maybe grab a bolster and some support. And maybe you rest here. If you'd like to come into that fish that we began with in practice, you can grab either a block or a bolster and bring them in between the shoulder blades. And if you have the blocks, then one underneath your head and you rest here with an open heart as you soften into the earth. Shavasana. Allowing the body to release and relax as much as you can. Allowing softness to envelope your body. Allowing compassion to spill out of your heart. Offering gratitude. your breath. For continuing to nourish and oxygenate yourselves. Offering gratitude to the mind for each thought that it thinks. And gratitude for the quiet space in between thoughts. You can continue in this shape and in your rest as long as you would like, dear yogi. When you are ready to begin to move, you can bend knees, maybe roll to the side, pause for a moment, landing here in your restful shape, taking time to become aware of the feelings and the sensations that have shifted in your body and in your being. And as you are ready, slowly coming up to the seat crossing ankles and bringing head tall. Hands can stack on heart center. You need it. And you completed another movement and breath and uh, delightful yogi experience on your mat. And it's with that gratitude and appreciation for your continued presence for yourself and your own well-being. We close this practice with an own. Let's breathe in. Uh, uh, Bring thumb knuckles up to forehead center. Let's take a final breath in. On our exhale, as we bow, we say, 
Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us for this gentle yoga segment. If you enjoyed this class, I encourage you to one, make sure that you hit subscribe on our channel so that you can get more videos from us. Uh, and two, check out our live studio. Uh, in addition to live virtual classes, we also offer a recorded class library. And that recorded class library is a really affordable monthly price. Um, you can check it all out on our website. There's a lot of options to practice with us and my goodness. The community alone is absolutely worth it. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you again on the mat soon. Be well, dear Yogi.